So uh, this time we, um, this little tutorial is to present C++. Uh, so this relies a lot on what we've done and installed for uh, C previously. So if you're not uh, done that, you should look first at the video for installing the compiler and the ID for uh, programming in C. So we have our Eclipse uh, program already installed. Um, so we started and um, I can just go back from scratch. Um, we're going to start Eclipse. Uh, we can use the same workspace as before. Uh, this is not a problem. Uh, we can have a C and a C++ program in the same workspace. Uh, again, make sure for those who have used Eclipse for Java or other programming language that you're in the right perspective. If not, you can go into Window. Um, perspective, open perspective, other, you have to make sure you're in the C, C++ perspective. Uh, this is the standalone, I mean the standalone, this is like the package, the C, C++ package I installed, so I only have this by default anyway. Okay, so um, we, uh, we're going to forget about this because this is a C program, we're going to create a new uh, C, C++ project. Instead of C manage build, we're going to select C++ Managed build. Next, um, I'm going to pick uh, the Hello World C project with the min GW CCC uh, for the tool chains, tool chains. And uh, I'm going to call my name, my project um, Hello CS390 OO for object oriented. Um, and then I can just leave this as is. And so it creates a new project here. You can see that the syntax is a bit different, uh, C out uh, for um, printing on the screen. As you see, first it uh, marked these as errors, as syntax errors, but then it just compiled the project and now it's clean. So um, it's probably because it switched from C, uh, compiling in C to C++. Um, so, um, so the syntax is a bit different, but it's very close to C. Um, and um, and so um, it's going to be basically the same process, right? If I right click and say run as local application, it's going to say launch failed. I need to first build at least one first time, right? Uh, build project. It's going to build using the GCC we installed previously. So this build would not work if we don't, we've not installed the GCC compiler. Um, uh, using min GW. Uh, so now it has the binary, so it's going to be able to run as a local application. And so now from now on, I can just, you know, run it using this hello world. And if I change hello world to hello CS390, uh, object oriented. Programming. Oops, sorry about that. I switched to the other window. Object oriented programming. Um, and now I save it. Sorry, this is just, I'm using the uh, Mac keyboard, so it's a bit tricky. Uh, and, um, and if I put this full screen, uh, if I now um, run it, it's going automatically like before um, compile and then run so you don't need to do the two steps every time just you can just straight uh, go ahead and run it and it's going to update it uh, of course if you you have to save your file first um, so this is using the id eclipse uh, it's fairly straightforward now uh, we can of course do the same thing as we did before using um, using the command line so um, Let's look at it. It might be a little bit different. Uh, so let's copy this like we've done before. And uh, we're going to start Sublime Text. Yeah, I can do that later. Um, and we're going to start a new file. We're going to name it. We're going to put it in another uh, folder called CPP. And we're going to name it um, hello 
CS390 dot cpp right the extension is different it has to be dot cpp right which automatically sublime text is going to recognize here you can see on the right bottom right as c plus plus uh, file so the syntax is going to accordingly um, be parsed for uh, c plus plus okay so now i um i have my file i can uh go to the right folder uh if I look, I have my .cpp file here. So now, uh, let me, I'm not sure it's going to work if I just do this. Um, it doesn't, right? So you need um, an additional option, right? If I look here, uh, I still have only my .cpp file. Uh, you need uh, to add to the GCC. Uh, the command line is uh, LST, you have to add the option LST DC++. And now if I look at the content, I have my uh, a.exe uh, uh, file that has been created. So I can now execute that. And, um, and my program is working properly, right? So like before, of course, if I uh, change it here, and I change to um, Hello World. Sorry about that. This is again, this is using Mac keyboard and PC. Um, and I save, of course, if I do a.exe, it's not going to update my text because I need to recompile it, right? Again, okay. And now if I do, uh, sorry, uh, a dot exe now it's updated 